Hello, my name is Madison Lowry, and this week's episode is about Julia Judy Bonds. Julia Bonds is a West Virginian-born activist against strip mining and mountaintop removal. For most of her life, Julia Bonds and her family lived in Marfork Hollow in West Virginia. Her father was a coal miner, though that didn't stop her from fighting for what she believed in. In 2001, mountaintop removal mining in Julia Bonds' hometown got so bad that they were forced to leave. The mining made the environment so unlivable that Julia and her family had to leave their own homes in order to live their lives. This place was where she had lived for her entire childhood. After this, she became a dedicated community leader and activist against harmful mining practices, products, and procedures. She was so committed and passionate about her work that she became the nation's leading community activist. That's right the nation's leading community activist. In her efforts, she often worked against Massey Energy. Massey Energy was the fifth largest coal producer during her activist days. That's a pretty large antagonist to go up against, if you ask me. In May of 2004, there was a Massey stockholders meeting. Many activists, including Julia Bonds, stood outside of the building and protested. They chanted and held signs, but it was still a peaceful protest. She helped win important motions from the State Mining Board. These motions suspended a pollutful Massey mine and created more protections for local communities against harmful and dangerous mine blasting. On top of her events against Massey, she fought for other things. A while ago, coal cars were being overfilled to dangerous levels. So dangerous that it killed 14 people in two years. Julia Bonds partnered with the United Mine Workers Union to prevent the overloading of these coal cars. On August 18th, 2001, Bond spoke out at the WVDEP informal conference that took place in Raleigh County. She was also the director of the Coal River Mountain Watch. In 2004, Julia and another activist named Maria Ganho won a lawsuit about, about mine waste streams. In Julia Bond's journey as an activist, she had setbacks. Julia Bond and other People protested blasting near a local coal slurry. This coal slurry, which is a pond full of mine waste, was located right above Marsh Fork Elementary School. So there is a literal pool of mine just waste right above a place that taught children. The protest was in Sundial. Julia Bonds and 17 other protesters were arrested for trespassing. These people were arrested for standing up against coal slurry, a pond of waste that was located directly above an elementary school that could leak and wipe out the middle school, or the, not middle school, the elementary school at any time. However, despite the bad things Julia Bonds received, she received many good things for her efforts. Of course, she got to see the change that she was working for, but on top of that, she was interviewed and featured in a documentary called Black Diamonds. Then, in April of 2003, she received the Goldman Prize. The Goldman Prize is the most prestigious environmental activist award in the nation. She won it for her work on mountaintop removal, stream pollution in mines, and large coal slurry impoundments. As you can see, Julia Bonds, a woman activist from West Virginia, was an amazing woman. Her work against negative effects of certain coal mining has impacted the world in many ways. Her words have influenced many people to stand up for what they believe in, including me. I hope she's had the same impact on you. Thank you for stopping by to hear about the, this wonderful West Virginian, Julia Judy Bonds.